Hello, Daniel Hook. Hello, Henry McCready. Don't use We've my full name, Dan. Come on. Names. <laughs> Come on, man. It's the internet. It's dangerous. Oh, yes. People wanted us people. to play um, sandbox mode. So that's what we're doing right now, right this second, Wait, at almost 10 o'clock in the evening. Oh no, almost 11 o'clock. Oh god, it's 11. <sighs> um, so we're going to play it. Um, I, we'll pick different ones, shall we? Should we pick the same one, or should we do a different one each? Well, I don't know. If, if we pick the same one, we can do different things and see different outcomes, perhaps. Okay, yeah, we'll do the same one. So which one do you want to do? We've got um, something Lighthouse, North Carolina Avenue, Illinois Avenue, or Downtown. <laughs> Uh, Dan Tan. Dan Tan. Dan Tan. So, downtown is a challenge. Is challenging. No, for Dan, you're used to this game. <laughs> um, uh, the towering hotels and fancy attractions make it the most prestigious locations in the world's playground. Let's do it. Should we do Illinois Avenue? Avenue? Yeah. Illinois Avenue. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Clicked it. Okay. I'm gonna call my character. I'm not gonna call him the boss like I did in my single player because that is not creative. You didn't name it. You didn't name it the single player, Dan. You just left it how it was. <laughs> Oh, come on! <laughs> he, he is the boss! <laughs> um, what should okay. I call? I'm gonna call mine Crazy. Didn't call yours Dan then? Crazy, no. <laughs> going, going all that now. Um, I'll call mine the Henry Boss. Oh, I've run out of letters. Yeah, oh, a boss with one S. <laughs> <laughs> the Henry Boss. Right, right, next. Next. Ooh. Ooh. I, I picked the top right one before, so I think I'm gonna do that one again. Okay, I'll go for the one next to your one, who looks like he's... What, the middle one? I don't know, he looks... His eyes look really weird. Yeah, he looks like an actor, actually. Um, I don't know the actually, guy's one Actually, one below your one looks pretty suave. I'll yeah, go okay, for him. Right, okay. Okay, so you, you grew up in a small village in Sicily. Yeah. Your childhood's name was... Uh... God, this is tough. I might go for... Um... Hood. I've gone for Earful. Okay, when you grew up, sorry, wait, wait, wait. when you grew up enough, your father tried to uh, learn you dis... <laughs> Did it just... Oh, look at my read! Why when when you grow up... You enough. read, enough. you read it. When you grew up enough, your father decided that you should learn trade, become an apprentice to the blacksmith, the stonemason, or the shopkeeper. <laughs> well, blacksmiths are kind of redundant these days, as is the yeah. stonemason, so the shopkeeper, I think. It's not... A... Is that how it works? Yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> um, the most ridiculous feat you managed to pull off during your youth was... Stealing an, an enraged bull with your bare hands. <laughs> it's something you would do in real life, isn't it, really? Stealing the key of the village mayor's wine cellar and drinking most of it before you get discovered. Yeah, that's something I'd do. I'm gonna do sweet talk in a local loan shark to forget your debt and give you even more money just until you get back on your feet. When you were 16 years old, you fell in love with the prettiest girl in your village. Her brother challenged you to a duel. Since you were challenged, you got to pick a weapon. You got to pick a weapon. You got to pick a weapon. It was. Well, never bring a knife to a bare fist fight, Finn. Or Dan, as that's your name. What's with Finn? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what? I might go for, um... Pistol would be easiest to kill someone. Yeah, but you lose, you lose muscle. I might, I might go for um. Oh, the my muscle's one. four. I don't really want to lose any more. You let your enemy. Yeah, I'm what's gonna do the other one. What's your muscle? My muscle in real life is ten. No, and this is six. <laughs> <laughs> I go for bare fists. I need more muscle. I think. Um, yeah, you decided to leave Sicily and immigrate to America because a don put a price on your head after you had an affair with his wife. Decent. <laughs> A vendetta wiped out your family, leaving you and your brother the only survivors. You decided to pursue the American dream and land of opportunities. Which one did you go for, Dan? I'm gonna go for the top one. <laughs> I might go for the uh, middle one. Yeah, cool. It sounds like a pretty cool film. Right. <laughs> you can review a character's abilities below in his portrait. When you're ready to set the difficulty. <laughs> I can't let <laughs> talk! What's going on? You can review right. your character's attributes below his portrait. When you're already slept oh, to your difficulty so level. <laughs> um, well, I'm assuming you're going to go for easy. Let's go for medium. Both of us medium. Yep, medium. Done. Because we're, we're hardcore gamers, Dan, when it comes down to it. We're not really not. <laughs> I'm 
probably the worst game. I have ever. a desk now. <laughs> so that counts, right? <laughs> I've gone, so, I've gone so long just using a flipping sofa to play PC games on. But it feels mm. good having a desk. It does. It feels like I'm a proper person now. Right, okay. Here oh. we are. Okay. Um, well, I can't see your screen and you can't see mine. So. I, can, I can imagine what you're seeing. Alright, actually, this is Sandbox, right? I'm going to explore and see if I can, you know. What do we have to do? Build up your little empire, I guess. Um, so what's the first thing that you did in your single player? Um, well, it was so recent, um, I... <laughs> what, are you saying it isn't bot recorded? No, of course not. Um, <laughs> of course it is. Um, first thing I've done would be to hire Squigs, my henchman. Where do you hire him from? Uh, on the left-hand side, you've got gang management, which is the picture of three... You know the letter oh, three guys, I, yeah. it's like three of them. I so really like... Oh god, who's that guy? There's multiple... I think it was Dan... No, it wasn't Dandy. Wolf Alfredo. is my rifle. One of, oh, Alfredo's my man. I'm hiring Wolf. Wolf's good as well. Yeah, I just got him on the... Uh, there you go, I've got three people. How many do you need? Four? I don't know, have as many as you want. <laughs> it's obviously going to cost you, though. Um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a businessman. So before you do that, you really want to... Oh uh, shit, I've just had over. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go do a mission then. Should I go raid the? Sh should I go to the gun shop and raid it? Yeah, you can do. Oh, actually, drive by. I'm gonna do a drive by. You gonna do a drive by? I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom up, and this is for fizzy purple, I think. Fizzy, what was oh, that? <laughs> that's a door closing. So fizzy should... purple will love this. Yes, I'm gonna cam switch right now. <laughs> You know, oh, because of course I don't know what a drive-by is, so... <laughs> Could be anything. Thanks for that comment, you jerk. Could be someone with a water pistol. <laughs> <laughs> what a pistol. Not that I'm being mean to whoever. I, I apologise. Okay. You should be here any minute. You tell them I've any minute. Oh, you can actually see them running out. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they obviously, when you're actually in the combat scenes, they don't move that fast. <laughs> <laughs> they move about five paces and then get worn out. Um, okay. Let's have a look around and see what's going on here. Oh, Sandbox it's getting, mode. Good evening now. In the... oh, where's the drive by? I've, I've raided, like, all the buildings around me. Which is all around a police station. How many though. people have you hired out? Four. Only have you hired out one. Uh. No, uh, yeah, I've got the main dude, boss man, crazy, and wolf. Right. Um. Where the hell is boss man? He's not here. I told him to drive by this place up in ages ago. Are you letting down fizzy purple? Maybe that's what they all drive by is. They literally just drive by. <laughs> just look out the window. <laughs> um, there's like actually a comment on our YouTube which explains exactly what a drive-by is, Dan. Oh, eh? In case you've never seen anything oh. before in your life. Like a film or... This is, this is really boring, Fizzy. Has <laughs> <laughs> nothing happened? Is it just driven by really slowly? I click on it and it says... Oh, there... Yeah, oh, we just killed him! Ah, oh, we didn't miss it. That's cool. So, oh, there you go. And I've just got out of the car as well. There, there, you, go. there you go, Fizzy. There you go. I hope that was. Uh, I hope that was worth worth the worth, comments. Right? I mean, I enjoyed that. I I, I like Fizzy because he comments on all of our videos and he's really nice. Yeah, he's he's amazing. He's my probably my favourite person in the world. Yeah, Fizzy purple, purple. I love the colour purple. Mm. Yeah. There you go. Great colour, great colour. Awesome colour, yeah. Yeah, one of the best colours I'd say. <laughs> Crazy attack the brewery. Yeah. How long do these the missions take? I just sent these guys on. Uh, it depends. Um, more skilled people in your gang take less lesser amount of time to do Is it. Is there a timer I'm looking for anywhere? No, you just wait for the bike bike ring. Go swinging. And you go, oh, yeah, look. You can't actually tell at all. No, ever. no, no, you can't. Brilliant. Yeah, so usually I have to pain, painfully wait for things to finish and sort of look around, which is probably why they're sometimes quite boring. I'm not going to upgrade my height. I think that's a waste of time. I might hire another guy and do a mission. Oh, who can should I hire? Interest? Romeo good? 
Firearms. I'm going to buy some firearms. I'll just so, buy guns. Top left, you see the briefcase? Yep. You click on the briefcase, it brings you to a map, and along the top is different sort of missions. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can you can choose to do missions, and obviously you can get alcohol and guns and stuff, so then you can do more in the actual game. Now, I've, so, I've just raided two um, gun shops. And you, you also run out of storage spaces as well. Um, and your, your main mafia place you can upgrade. I don't really know what the point of that is. Maybe you can store much Oh, more. 20 additional storage for $500. I've got, I got three and a bit grand. Oh, no, just three grand now. Uh, I've got three grand clean money, is that? Oh, I've got some dirty money as well. Okay, I see how that works. The police station is right there, Dan. Obviously, uh, bottom right, when it goes up to five stars, they investigate into your thing and you've got to either bribe them or, you know, get them off your back. Otherwise, the game ends. Really? Apparently so. It hasn't happened to me yet, surprisingly. So, yeah. M map isn't that big, is it? I thought it'd be bigger than this. No, it, like, it sort of just lets you into certain sections. And you go into an you'll go into another part of the map and you'll start all over again. Oh, I got... Oh, I paid salary, so I didn't... I paid my guys dirty money instead of the clean money. Haha, <laughs> suckers. <laughs> I might just hire more people. Uh, we could go bankrupt. Oh, could I? Well, depends. I don't know. I don't know how, how. I don't know whether you can just not pay them for a few rounds or not. Oh, they're gangsters. They shouldn't be so fussy. What are they going to do? Where else are they going to work? They're gangsters. Uh, you have rivals set sometimes. There are rivals. So there's probably a rival on this map somewhere. Uh, you'll see them if there is. I mean, you have to investigate. Um, basically, there's question marks spinning around above houses. And if you click on it, it says Cheers or Big Spender or something. Yep. So you either go there with a load of drink and click on Cheers and it uses up your alcohol you've got, or you click on Cheers and pay the guy some money and, yeah. Oh, I sent someone there to do Big Spender, so... Yeah, that's what I do. Then you rent a premises out and you can set up a speakeasy, a Ponzi scheme, a protection racket, boxing arena, pawn shop, a pizzeria, a bookmaker, pharmacy, weapon store, or a loan shark place. But... Certain ones require your your hideout, your home, to be a certain level. So at the moment, your your hideout. Oh no! I've just made a gun run and gone bankrupt. I've got loads of firearms. I've got forty firearms now. <laughs> if you click the um, pictures of them, you know when it goes tick when they've gone. Yes. If you click that again, they seem to come back. Oh. And the mission ends. Didn't know that. <laughs> just let them go off on one. And just do whatever. I'm going to do a mission then, so I'm going to click the briefcase. I'm going to go to money, because I think money's going to be an issue for me. <laughs> yeah, money probably will be. <laughs> right, I'm going to establish a business here. What shall I do? I'm going to do a speakeasy. So what are you, how are you establishing ship back... Yeah, click on a place and it will say uh, rent for 200 dirty money or whatever. Well, any place? Uh, no, only places that uh, have... Oh, love a certain symbol. I've got to find it now. don't know what the bloody symbol is. Okay, so the house, house icon is for you to rent a premises, which is basically where you can then, after you rent the premises, you can set it up. And then you've got the little, little tent icon, like a little... Sort of, I don't know what you bloody call it now. Little camp icon, which is basically where you can set up another sort of business. Uh, I can't believe you wouldn't remember what it's called. Oh, a joint. So you've got joints and premises. Joints is where you can set up pizzerias and places like that. Which is what I want to do. And uh, an actual premises with the picture of the house is where you can do a brewery or something. Stuff like that. Do, so there's two different kinds. Okay, so I might go here. Might buy out a nightclub. Ooh, a nightclub. You probably have to be at a certain level, maybe. Yeah, mm. you do. Might buy out a bar. Oh, I can't. I can just drive by it. <laughs> I, I might just heist the bank then. That's a good idea, right? And <laughs> um, if you've got enough people, then yeah, it's fine. I want to do some missions, Dan. Yeah, I know. That that got me killed. <laughs> Pretty much. I want, I want to do something. 
What's this? Uh, the Traymore Hotel started as a small ten room boarding house and became one of the most prestigious resorts. Oh, okay, how oh, interesting. Please tell me more. Oh, a celebrity lives there. Oh, pulling a scam on celebrity gets you a lot of money. But oh, to, I see, I see. But I see. to pull a scam, you've got to give them gifts or do a performance. Okay. You need five liquor, which means I now need to go and buy some liquor. On the trail. Oh, money's gonna be a big issue for me. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna try and set up a brewery, I think. How many people have you uh, hired? Uh, just four. <laughs> um, yeah, four. Me, me, and, me, and my three boys. <laughs> they, they do run awfully fast, don't they? Alright, where's this celebrity? I was near. Alright, I want to establish a brewery. I have purchased a residential building. A residential building? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a construction lot is something I haven't bought yet. I think that's where you can actually do the nightclubs or whatever, or the casino. I think you can do casino. So that building turns over eighty dollars per per day. Yeah, I think. Yeah. So that's paying for one of my one of my guys already. That one, that building. Oh, wow, I'm at four stars already. Why? Why am I at four stars? I'm on three. Busy. It's probably that drive-by. Oh, damn it, Fizzy Purple. <laughs> Amazing guy. There's a reason why I'm the boss. Establish. Okay, I'm gonna establish a Ooh, what what do I want to go into business doing real oh Protection racket, maybe? I've gone for uh doing a brewery. And then setting up a speakeasy which sells beer and liquor for dirty money. I want to go legit. I might, I might have a pizza joint. That increases fear in people. A pizza joint? Yeah, because it's the Don. If you look at the bottom, you see the, the picture underneath where your gangsters are. You see a picture of a fist and the number beside it. That's your fear rating. And to the left, you've got thumbs up, which is your like rating. Oh, I you got, got feared by you six. You've got to try and balance it out, I think. Oh, no. I've got I'll three. Go to speak easy, then. Brilliant. I've now got five stars. I can't execute that on a current heat. It's speak easy. Nothing. Else. Oh, right. I'm establishing a new business. I can't pull a scam because I'm on five star. I'm going to do a charity event as well, because I think that's a good idea. Alright, I've just brought you... the police officer. Can you buy um, like cars for your people? Uh, I don't. I haven't got to that point. I don't think you can. I think they just run at the speed of light everywhere. Um, and then in games, they just appear to be outside of a car. Although, a drive by, the guy did get in a car and jump out, but no, I don't think you can. If you could do it, it would probably be on your. On your uh, gangster place, your mafia home, your hideout. If you click on upgrade or decorate, maybe it'll give you some sort of options. But I think that's only really for the interior. Right, there we go. I can call a favour. Yes, zero stars. I'm just going to buy another residential building. I should be able to afford all my... All my... I've also got two thumbs up because of a charity event. Sorry. So that's good. I'm, I'm leveling myself out a little bit. Good. I'm now going to pull a scam. Yay. No. You must have warm relations. So how, how often do you get into one of those um, actual actual fighting zone times? Um, well, you either have the choice, which is obviously a bank heist and whatever, where you can actually just go and do it, or you'll be minding your own business and you'll go to, I don't know, uh, burger, uh, burglar, burglar? 
burgle a place and or or do something uh to send your guy on a mission and he'll be confronted by some thugs and it'll just pull you into one oh, i'm looking forward to when i get into one for the first time but i don't know how often that does that for uh for sandbox mode i mean there's an informant here saying that i can either pay up or threaten them if i threaten it might there you go i've got 12 likes now and, and five fists so that's not that's not good, is it? People like me too much now, do you think? Uh, it depends. Uh, obviously, this informant that I can threaten, she'll only be threatened if I have 40 fear. So, Yeah, so that's bad for me at the moment, not having enough fear. It works both ways. Right, I'm gonna, I'm, yeah, I've bought like a block of, like, three blocks of residential buildings. So I'm turning over 80 per turn. How do I find out how much people, how much people are... Uh, his rage is 15, which is nothing. Uh, Wolf's rage is... 105? Fucking hell. <laughs> Alfredo's only 44. Why is Wolf so much money? Mattify Wolf. What is fire sale? Is that... Buy Wolf. Ha! <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. Interesting. Not that I'm ever going to do that, but yeah. I've got my, no money left. Perks. Equip. Oh, okay. So... Equip would be weapons that you have for them. But he's only got one weapon, so I'm not sure on how you get a second weapon for this guy. I'll have to look into that on single player, see if I've got any. Right, upgrades. Let's upgrade this brewery. 20% efficiency. Oh, do another raid on this place that doesn't like me already. <laughs> <laughs> because why the fuck not? It's my Italian American accent. Fantastic. Want some more guapi, Joe? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Awful. Sorry, ever. Sorry, everyone. Oh, God. <sighs> oh, my efficiency's going up on my uh, speakeasy. Wait, so I had warm relations, and now I have neutral relations, which means I just... Oh, that's so annoying. Um... Crazy as a master. Oh, I've, I've taken down another gun. <laughs> I've just got all my gun people around me. have all been out of business now because of my raids. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. No rest for the bus. What is Wex? Uh, uh, no, my luck. I'm gonna get pulled into a combat scene, and I'll only have two people, and I'll die. Just sit at me. I want that big place. That looks pretty good. I want to heist somewhere, Dan. Do I heist the bank? Is that well, a terrible just, idea? Where's your bank on yours? My bank is. You know where the police station is? Uh, yes. Have you got, have you got a huge building above that? Oh, where's the police station? Oh, I used it. Oh. Hmm. So we, we, are you like uh, the near the coast? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like literally next to the coast. My, my, my house is like Bahai, Bahai, <laughs> by the beach. Yeah. So if you go up from your house, yeah, you've got a police station. Yeah, I've used that. And above there, you've got a um a bank. It wouldn't, yeah, we'll surprise, right wouldn't surprise me. What's this place? This is a police station. Raid the armory. Good idea. Sounds a fantastic idea. I'm gonna do it, you know. Oh, I've got enough level. <sighs> this, this heat is. I've only got two stars. Whee! Well, I bribed the police officer and then asked him to reset it to zero. And he did. But the bribe was a thousand pounds, which is like all my money. I'm raiding the armory. <laughs> got a lot of work to do. Already one guy's gone in there. What the I want all my guys to go in there and raid it, not one little guy. No, nah, if you have trouble, your guys will get called in. Okay, I'll leave them all free then. No, no, it does, that doesn't make a difference, I think. Oh, really? Nope. I should be making a profit. Oh, I've just found a police station that can raid the armory. Yeah, hmm. it's just popped up. It's got three construction sites. Really? Yeah. How much money have you got? 300 quid. 
I've got 239 dirty, 160 clean. There's more than me then. <laughs> and I've got three gas. Okay, I got 200 pounds now. <laughs> Damn it. Just paid their wages. I'm gonna have to raid the armory. Let's do it. I'm looking forward to this. Oh, no available henchmen. Come on, finish the jobs. Oh, he did it. Oh, no, we called into the action. Hee <laughs> hee, cam oh. switch. Oh, no, no, no. Maybe I shouldn't do it then. <laughs> Oh, no, success chance, 0%. <laughs> yeah, but you got you got to list more people. You, you know, select them, the ones that are going in. And your percentage should rise. All right, 2%. 15%. 27%. <laughs> Come on, and now you can't back out of it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> You know, I know how it feels. <laughs> it's all oh my god, I've really... Fuck! I clicked start. <laughs> That's basically what I was doing. <laughs> Crap! <laughs>